Welcome to Rob's Raid. On this episode, we'll be talking about why I think Ozzy Osbourne is extremely underrated. If you're ready, let's check it out. So why is Ozzy Osbourne underrated? Well, you know, Ozzy is no short of accolades being the Prince of Darkness. The first Black Sabbath record came out in 1970. Every Black Sabbath record has gone either platinum or gold. Ozzy left in the late 70s because of drug-related issues. His first solo record came out in 1980. It was Blizzard of Oz. It was the first record with Randy Rhodes, uh, who he recruited from Quiet Riot. The first seven solo records all went multi-platinum. It's quite amazing that, you know, Ozzy found Randy Rhodes. Uh, tragically, Randy passed away after Diary of a Madman. But I think Jakey e. Lee's underrated too. And then uh, around No Rest for the Wicked is when Zach Wilde came into the group. Zach Wilde uh, got his start uh, in Ozzy Osbourne's group. There's a lot of talent that that went in and out of Ozzy's radius and it, it, it's really great to see that he could kind of bring and uplift new and fresh talent into his group as well as be a conduit uh, through OzFest he formed OzFest in 1996 and OzFest ended up grossing a hundred million dollars uh, it, it's quite amazing to see the, the creative output and the, the singles and the hooks and all that but just the great uh, business acumen that that he and Sharon were able to sort of take, you know, this equity that he had with Black Sabbath and really spread it out uh, into the rest of the 80s, 90s, and, and 2000s, uh, especially with the Osbournes being such a cultural phenomenon uh, coming out uh, on MTV in the early 2000s. The Osbournes was huge. I mean, I cannot stress enough how huge the Osbournes was and it made Ozzy a household name. If Ozzy wasn't a household name and famous before the Osbournes, he certainly was after this. And it really made his image as sort of the, the bumbling dad that's incoherent. I think that really hurt his image with the mystique that maybe a Robert Plant would have. Because I think a lot of people would try to make a... You know, they they would say the comparison between Robert Plant and Ozzy isn't appropriate. Well, Robert Plant seems very, but you know their records. I mean, let's say the first Black Sabbath record was 1970. I think Led Zeppelin came out in 69, 70. So, you know, I mean, they're both English. They're both singers and and successful rock bands. You know, for the sake of argument, but I didn't see you know Robert Plant you know, having a huge solo career like Ozzy did in the 80s. I didn't see Robert Plant creating a music festival. Ozzy had just each decade was kind of redefining himself. And even into the uh, 2000s was able to kind of pick up and have some more, you know, solo records that sounded great. I mean, I would listen to a new Ozzy record and be like, how is Ozzy sound so amazing? It, it, you know, is this, you know, some sort of trickery? And doing the research for Ozzy and sort of trying to find out, you know, kind of what made his career so so awesome is that the, the Osbournes have created a podcast on YouTube. It's really cool to see that uh, it's both entertaining and probably very cathartic for them to um, kind of go down memory lane and and kind of see the cultural phenomenon that that, that family was at, at the time and, and sort of kind of bring everything together and, and see the, the, the different facets of, of, of Ozzy, this great singer and songwriter and, and musician that's, you know, really dominating uh, the musical landscape for decades. I mean, decades upon decades um, and, and still holds a, a very important influence to this day in the hard rock and heavy metal community. And being instrumental in creating a music genre. I mean, that's the other thing is that it's not just Black Sabbath being in the 70s and of their time, but they helped create a musical movement that really created, you know, hundreds, if not thousands and thousands of bands. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and Ozzy uh, being underrated. 
If you think he's overrated, you know, let me know. You know, like this video if you enjoyed this type of content. You know, comment below uh, on your thoughts on Ozzy and in, in, in general if you want. And uh, be sure to share the video around if you found it interesting. And subscribe to the channel. We are growing uh, every day, and I look forward to uh, adding to the audience. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.